What's going guys, it's Deathlock here. Today I'm going to be talking about something rather interesting in regards to Fortnite Battle Royale Season 6. Now, basically this information came from uh, Donald Mustard, who is the creative narrative director for Epic Games. And basically what he's found, or what he's given to us, is it appears that the comic books, DC comic books, are going to be the subject of Season 6, or the theme for Season 6. So, if you look, have a look at here at Donald Mustard's tweet that he's recently left, Comic books have been a part of my life since forever, a driving force of inspiration for all things I've created. Never did I imagine having a chance to work on a Batman book, let alone write and draw on one. So grateful to Fortnite, Epic and DC for this dream to come true. So basically, as you guys can see from this image, which I'll quickly show you on the screen right now, you can see basically what we've got is uh, obviously the DC logo, you can see Batman, you can see Batman's um, design there, at the bottom you can see the word Fortnite. Interestingly enough though, if you look at the centre of this, driven, uh, written upwards, you can see it actually reads the word zero point. And interestingly, as you guys can see, if you look very carefully, it's curved in a, in a like, loop shape, which is rather interesting, obviously, because uh, all of these um, characters this season are also stuck within the loop. So this is rather interesting. As you guys can see, Gage, Mustard, Brown, De Castro, and Kalitz, I think it's the actor's names from the actual comics. So that's rather interesting as well. So the, uh, these details have really come from this specific website, which IGN has left. So as you guys can see, Batman is returning to Fortnite. Though it might not sound like huge news, considering that practically every pop culture franchise, both as salt, has put an appearance in Epic Games' massively popular shooter game, Batman. Um, so the last time we saw uh, Batman was towards the uh, middle of chapter one, or in the back half, in the second half of chapter one. I think it was like season eight, if memory serves. And basically, for those who don't know, uh, Gotham City um, also made its um, debut in Fortnite, uh, taking over Tilted Towers. Um, and alongside Batman, we had Catwoman as a skin, Harley Quinn as a skin, Joker, and I think. Green Arrow was as one, so that's going to be interesting. They could see them come back, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, to get a better sense of how this series will capitalise on the two popular culture juggernauts, we tried to return to writer Christos Cage and story consultant Epic's chief creative officer Donald Mustard. So, the origin of the zero point. The DC and Fortnite universes are sort of natural bedfellows in the sense that both lean into the idea of an interconnected multiverse. The world of Fortnite is specifically presented as a sort of nexus point between realities, allowing characters from any number of familiar universes to drop in and intermingle. It's all like living inside Tommy Westfall's snow globe, if everyone was shooting at each other and building towers. Must told us that it's exactly why he wants to bring Batman and other DC heroes into the game as early as possible. So that's going to be really interesting here, guys. So, let's see how this works. So, obviously, as you guys can see, um, this is probably going to be the new Harley Quinn skin, which looks really cool. Um, so according to Tom Mustard, the game's early DC crossovers came but mostly through conversations with DC's creative chief officer, Jim Lee. Over time, their conversations... Apologies, guys. That's just the Harley Quinn skin, as you guys can see. Um, the conversation shifted toward building a bigger and more focused narrative, which is basically the genesis of Zero Point. As it turns out, Gage was Mustard's first and really only choice to script the series. So basically what we see in the um, comic books that by DC for Batman, that's pretty much what Don Mustard is using to create a narrative or a storyline in Fortnite chapter, to see, uh, chapter 2 season 6. So Mustard also had plenty of praise for series artists Riley Brown and Christian Deuce, as they both tackled the challenge of merging the dark and moody world of Batman with Fortnite's colourful, if equally violent, realm. So that's going really good. I can't wait to see what they do with this. How Zero Point builds on Batman and Fortnite community? So, many big book crossovers tend to fall outside of the traditional continuity of the respective books, but that's anything but the case with Zero Point. The series set the in the era of DC's contemporary Batman comics, and its events have a clear bearing on the world of Fortnite. It's similar to 2020's Fortnite Marvel Nexus War Thor number one. If you remember that comic that we got, the um, just before the and at the start of last season, which brings out a very specific scene in Don writer Donny Cates' Buffy Thor comic. 
Zero Point isn't quite so specific about where exactly it falls in the Batman timeline, but the costumes alone make it obvious the series is taped in current DC lore. So that's really good. Um, if you want to read this in more detail, guys, I'll link the article down in the description. The story in particular needed to be told through the lens of the character, which is why a comic book or something like that made the more sense of it, and also allowed us to reveal a really, lot of really, really cool Fortnite pathology in a way that's just, again, better told through the lens of the character and how they're experiencing it. A lot of things will start to make sense of sense to people as they pay attention to what's been going on in Fortnite. So as you guys can see, I'm going to get a more vulnerable Batman. While the full scope of this crossover meant to be seen, was to engage many clear Batman's first chance of crossing between universes, we the same as many heroes before him. He arrived on the island without his memories, making his immediate battle for survival all the more difficult. Gage will serve as the ultimate challenge for the world's greatest detective. Um, what would happen if you took a character like Batman and put him in an unfamiliar place where you couldn't remember who he was but still retained all his instincts? basically the essence of who he is, even without remembering who he is. And what, and what does that do to a character specifically like Bruce Wayne? We thought we just thought that was a really interesting area to explore. So Batman's fellow Gothamites will also suffer from the same amnesia problem, and Gage T's the series will take full advantage of that plot point when it comes to exploring the relationship between Batman and Catwoman. I don't know if they're technically still married, but apparently they are, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, we take these people who have this long history and put them in this place where they don't remember their past. It's like, well, how will their relationship change? Will they instinctively be enemies, or will they be friends? Will they be lovers, or will they join different factions? The possibilities are endless, and that's what excites about the whole thing. So, how is Zero Point connected to the game? So, even though Zero Point is a story printed all primarily in comic book form, players soon assume that these means these events will be reflected in the game itself. On the surface, Zero Point will be adding new Batman themed cosmetics and apps to the game each print issue of the series, including a DLC code. But beyond that, Ben's and the comic will be reflected in the world of Fortnite as the story plays out. So it looks like we're going to get have to get these DC comics in order to get a rather interesting Batman-type skin that we can amend. So basically, the idea, I think the idea is over the, next, over the first 12 weeks of Season 6, there's this Batman skin that we were able to get where um, each um, bi-weekly comic that comes out for DC for Batman um, also all have these DLC codes that we can use to basically use in the Fortnite game. So that's going to be really interesting here guys. So the hope that the Zero Point can remain an evergreen graphic novel alongside classic Batman books like The Dark Knight Returns. So that's going to be really good. Um, but it appears that as um, Batman is in Fortnite, but he's stuck in the loop over and over and over and over again. And what he looks like begins to evolve and change as he reacts to the world that he's in. And that's something that will be coming. It's very cool. Gage also said on his social media, a lot of people who are collectors over 30s and up have said, Oh, my kid really loves Fortnite. We're really going to enjoy it together. And that makes me really happy because I think generations carry on on what they love together and bring your families together and not all that. It sounds corny, but it makes him happy. So, looks like Batman Fortnite Zero Point Number One will release in print and digital formats on Tuesday, April the 20th. And that's pretty, I think if I'm not mistaken, that is a week on... I think it starts the 16th, so it looks like it's the first, the first Saturday of season 6, that's when we're going to see the very first comic. As you guys can see, Batman is the only DC hero put an appearance in Fortnite this year. Epic recently added a Flash skin, modelled after the Euroverse TV series, and the game is also bringing in Eppon Ripley and the Alien Zillum off, which of course are in the app shop. So, I want to know what you guys thoughts are of this, please do let me know in the comments box down below. Hope you guys found this video rather interesting, if you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please press the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so I miss any more videos. I uh, just want to quickly finish this off uh, showing up another screenshot here of uh, Batman with fish stick and a few other skins as well. Right by there. Um, there's like the other, other one or two there, so it looks really cool. And once I get more information, have this guy's up sure you guys know.
Thank you guys, James, for the channel. Until the next episode, peace out.